Hi everyone, welcome back again for another helpful tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create UI mobile design animation inside of After Effects. If it is the first time that you see this video tutorial, please make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and like the video. If you hit the notification bell, you will be noticed with the new tutorials. Alright, I don't want to waste your time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. So here we are in After Effects, as you see I have already imported the vector file, here we are. So the layers are in separate layers as you see, uh, this device, let's lock it. So let's start by adding a new solid, let's change the color, here I choose this color, ok, put under the layers, name it BG, excellent, ok, choose those application icons. So, excellent, come to the window, Animation Composer. I have a video tutorial about how to download Animation Composer and how to install to your After Effects. If you want to learn it, I will drop the link in the description or you can see on the top right corner of the screen here. Excellent, uh, come here to the Starter Presets and Effects 2D Layer. And here I have 2D Layer Transformation. So I want to choose this one. Okay, good. I have chosen all the layers and then click here apply. Excellent. It has already been applied. So we can change some parameter here. Let's see the animation first of all. As you see, they are rotating fast and in a wide angle. I want to decrease those uh, parameters. So come here to the intensity. Let's make it 50 and frequency should be 2. Angle, it is 45 degree. I want to make it 50. Let's see the animation. Yeah, I think that is better. If you want, you can increase the frequency, for instance, 4. Yeah, that is better. Let's increase the intensity like 70. Yes, that is good. And I want to offset them. Uh, so click Control and choose those layers and offset them here. And again, control. And let's make an offset. Excellent. I want to drag them a little bit on the timeline because I will rotate the mobile phone as well. So one second is good enough. Excellent. Now come here to do this line. We can make a line here. So choose pen tool. I don't want to see fill color, just drop color. Excellent. Let's choose dark. Let's choose black color. Excellent. By holding shift, let's create a shape here, a line here. You can come to the content, shape, stroke, and we can decrease taper, decrease start and end uh, length. So, for instance, when you choose this one and this one, as you see, we have this nice line. Okay, come to the add and let's add trim pad. Close the content, I mean shape. Open trim pad. Let's make it zero and create a keyframe for zero. Move a little bit on the timeline and make it 100. Excellent. Come here again, create start keyframe and let's make it 100. So we have this nice animation. Excellent. Choose all of the keyframes and make easy. Let's see. Perfect. Again, uh, I want to make it loop. So choose come here and edit split layer. Where is it? Here. And delete this layer. We don't need any more. So excellent. So let's name it line and control D for duplicate and put it here. So we have this loop animation. If you want, you can move on the timeline wherever you want. So let's make some copies by control D. Good. So we have this nice line animation. Perfect. And I don't need to uh, see this line so I can delete it. Excellent. Okay. Now come here to do this uh, cloud, the weather condition icon. 
So this is, as you see, the raindrops. So let's again choose grab, grab pen tool and make it this time three and create a one. Perfect. Let's put it here and put above the, this layer. I don't need to see this one. Okay, good. Now come here, transform, sorry, come to the shape layer, content, shape, stroke and make change the uh, change the line line cap as round cap excellent this is round cap okay let's add trim pad again here where is it trim pad sometimes it is hard to see it <laughs> so let's make zero and create a keyframe move a little bit on the timeline and make 100 excellent so we can do the same thing for the start keyframe and as usual we need to easy is it is a little bit in my opinion slow so i chose those layers by holding alt select the last keyframe and drag here excellent this is better all right let's come again press u on the keyboard and let's edit the split layer and delete this one press u Come here and let's again edit split layer and delete this one. So we have this just this nice animation. Perfect. Again, Control D for duplicate it. We can use many times this line, this raindrop animation. Now we need to precomb those raindrops. So choose all of the layers. Let's precomb rain drop move all attributes into the new composition and also check adjust composition duration to the time span perfect we have this composition okay if you want you can duplicate it as well again so we can use multiple times perfect again choose all of the layers again pre comp them rain drop last okay perfect I can duplicate it and move here. Duplicate it, move here. Duplicate it, duplicate it and here. We can use many times those raindrops. Perfect. In addition, we need to offset them. So come here and make random offset animation. Very good. We can start from this angle, so I need to again pre comp them. Rain drops all good, and let's choose, let's drag it here so that we can see from this time. Very good. Let's make it fit. All right, let's come to the cloud animation here. This one. Let's zoom and press T on the keyboard, create a keyframe and make and put it a little bit in the timeline time and make it zero first keyframe. And here we need to copy this keyframe and paste it. So we have this opacity animation. Excellent. Choose all of the layers and make easy. So we can loop it, loop it out. So by holding Alt, let's type loop out open parentheses and close parentheses so we have this nice cloud animation on mobile on mobile phone perfect so let's come to the time here we need to make a time animation come again type tool and let's type the number zero nine excellent let's decrease the number we can change the the font for instance for instance i want to use Montserrat. so the medium size is enough excellent duplicate it and make it here and this time change this number as uh, for instance 11. perfect i don't want to see this one perfect good so choose 11 and let's come to the effect and presets panel type slider control 
we need to make an animation apply on the number excellent come to the here text source and by holding alt drag this big whip and parent with slider excellent so come here and create a keyframe for slider press u and decrease this number excellent good come here and change this number as 11 as we did before perfect this will be the second so come here and put it here again copy this layer pass it here let's change it like 23 drag it here so where is the let's come to the here and we don't need to show this vector layer delete it excellent we have this nice animation but come here and again press you on the keyboard come to the source text we need to add some uh, some code to make round mat round open parenthesis and close parenthesis here so we have a decimal number good again choose all of the time and make it here change the move a little bit left so we have this nice animation it is a little bit fast so we can for instance come here to the one second and make it and make it 10 move a little bit in the timeline we need to increase if you think it is too fast you can decrease this number as 26 I think it is too fast as well so make it 22 that's better okay guys let's choose all of the layers pre comp them time okay let's fit it very good now come to the comp comp layer and project let's choose where is it our ui here and press u scale it i think we don't need to see this background color right now so make it invisible excellent come here press p on the keyboard create a keyframe let's put it here for the 15 second here and come here and put it here change the position excellent and move a little bit in the timeline here put a little bit down and move again a little bit a little bit up and then here so we have this nice position animation let's choose those layers keyframe interpolation make sure the special interpolation is linear click ok perfect and select all the layers let's make easy ok come to the graph editor so we need to change this angle here increase the influence perfect if you want you can let's click here choose this layer and make it a little bit above so we have a nice animation perfect we did really great job let's increase the work area perfect so we have this nice mobile phone icon animation inside of after effects i am sure you like this video if you like this video please leave a like and if you have any question please do not hesitate to ask on the comment section below i will respond your questions as soon as possible until next tutorial take care